She's back. All right, I don't even know what time it is. Car says it's 6.40. I'm gonna go take a look at Alex's Christmas lights. See how he's done. And um, this might actually be the first clip in the vlog today. I'm not sure. I need a key. Car's back, they did a great, a great job on that fender, getting my cancer spots off, and then he did that little corner of the trunk lid that you guys have noticed on E39 source since I've had the car. He actually did that for free. He said, that thing was pissing me off, so I fixed it. So I was very appreciative of that. Did a really nice job on it, and we'll definitely film that tomorrow in the daylight. So, I'm gonna go do that, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Well, a while ago in the vlog, somebody said, hey, film when you shift, film the tack when you shift, and I said I would, and I never did. So we're about to have a green light, so that's what I'll do. And here we go. Pick up at about 800 RPM, shift approximately before three. I am not looking at camera work here at all, because it's nighttime and we're in Ohio where there are deer. That feels like about three. I have to check the footage for what it actually was. Fourth gear at 40 and dip to fifth gear right there, and that's where I hold it. Should we elect to do a downshift here, 40 miles an hour to third, would look about like that. Temperature is 37 degrees, as the computer tells me, and we could do second here, about like that. And then back up to fifth, right there. M out of the 63 AMG V8 bi turbo. Nice if you can't afford an X5M. Actually, it's probably more, so I shouldn't say that. There you go, buddy. Looks awesome, Alex. Well done. Somehow we managed to get behind that ML63, and I will give that thing credit. Those the, the rear lighting design, those tail lights, LEDs, absolutely beautiful. Very well done, MBZ. Really like what you did with that. Not a big fan of the third brake light, I will say, though. It kind of looks like something you'd find on a semi-truck off Ice Road Truckers. Oh, yes, we have chocolate milk and a lot of it, and it's very good. Just getting ready to edit the vlog. Here's yesterday's work. It's uh, 1.10 a.m. We've got the train going around the tree. we got the lights on. It's nice in here. Hold on. Flip got excited. It's like 28 degrees outside. It kind of sucks. At least it didn't rain today. The sun was out, and I got the car back, so... Pretty good day, did a lot of other stuff, and I guess I'll tell you about it. Uh, there's a new website, e39source.com. I think some of you picked it up. Um, it is up. We've got two posts on it so far. We're still doing a lot of work with the theme. It's run off the same servers as Tech Inform is. Uh, and here it is. Check this out. we got some graphics going on here. There's two posts. We have a welcoming introductory post, and then I wrote a huge huge article uh, introducing my car to the channel. So you should go check that out, e39source.com. It's going to work very closely with the YouTube channel, uh, kind of doing text DIYs with pictures. Here's the thing, you know, when I got my car, when I got the M5 out there, there is a lot of stuff that I wanted to do to it. Um, I mean, I remember searching for the first things. I wanted to replace that interior center console, the shift knob, um, the e-brake handle and boot, and I couldn't find any DIYs anywhere. And anything that I found was just like, yeah, here's a part number, and there's a screw, and you pull it out. And they were just garbage. So I'm the one, and now Colt, and hopefully Canon and Bobby, definitely Bobby, hopefully Canon soon, are the ones that are going to be providing the content, taking the steps and figuring it out ourselves to write in-depth, really well-written and informative posts with pictures and coupled with videos from the channel, which has been very successful, much more than Ryan Knows Tech, James R. Schultz, and this channel, JRS Vlog. So um, I'm really hoping that we can take this and run with it. I mean, we got this theme up in a day. It's really basic. It's the 2011 or the 2011 WordPress theme. Um, and here's what I like about it. It's really simple. It's easy to customize and edit, and it's very clean. There's like four colors on this site white, black, and the 3M color, so I guess that's five. It's just a really clean cut, very BMW crisp theme. We did have to do some modification with all these menu systems here. We got a bar up on, up on top, you can see the family. There's the three cars that are on the channel now. You click on me, it redirects you to my post, which as you can see is very lengthy and fairly well written and informative in my opinion with links to the video. So for example, facelift tail lights. We click that, we wait for Time Warner to respond which right now is doing zero KBP, KBPS 
uh, that we refresh and here it is and there's the LED video for the light the video about my tail lights that I did on July 26th actually it was quite a bit before that but that's when I uploaded it so it's all there Colt's gonna get an article as you know he's been working on the struts by the way he did work a little bit today and I think he got one of the struts mostly in he has to finish that and re put everything back together there's a lot of sensors and stuff back there so yeah pretty excited about it and it is in no way limited to E39. I've kind of regret calling it that now but that's what we're, we've done so we're going to run with it. Take a look. We have every single model that BMW makes. We're going to have to add the 4 series now but look. 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, M, X, Z, I and even the hybrid 3, 5 and 7. They're all here. Obviously only the E39 M5 and the E39 525 have articles right now but it's all here. So please go check it out. Just take a quick look through it if you have any uh, tips for anything we should add or hey if you're from E39 source and you're watching this video and you would like to make an account totally free advertise your car put some pictures up there I just think it's fun I got carried away with that post the other day so really long clip here I apologize for that but we're really excited about this and I definitely appreciate it if you go check it out and leave me some leave me some thoughts and comments and suggestions and constructive criticism below with what we can do with it so we're excited hope you are too that's it. Tomorrow is Thursday. It's kind of the last full day of going to three classes in a row. Uh, the math class, totally done with that. That's in the books. I have a paper due. Well, this the writing class. I have to go in tomorrow for one last physical meet scheduled class time. Then I have a paper due next Tuesday, the 11th, and then I'm done with that. Psychology, I have an exam tomorrow. And then there's a final exam that's optional that I will most likely take unless I do, on, unless I do surprisingly well on tomorrow's exam on the 10th. Then there's another physics exam on the 10th. The review for physics is Friday. So uh, everything is coming to a close. I should be done with, I shouldn't have to go back to camp after, I'm going to say the 12th, but I don't have to go in on the 12th. So 11th, the 11th, I don't even think I have to go in on the 11th. So I'm pretty much done. This is awesome. I'm going to have plenty of time to do stuff here, do stuff with the credit cards, do stuff with that, and I am wasting your time. This is a five-minute clip, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, Thursday, the last day. Bye-bye.